There are levels and levels. This level is high. This level is high. Isaiah is not a prophet to be taken lightly. Isaiah is known as one of the major prophets. One whose accuracy still baffles me today. In his ministry, he was able to perceive the happenings in the Holy Ghost that will take place 800 years before it happened. Isaiah spoke about the birth of Yeshua HaMashiach. He spoke about the birth of Jesus Christ. How do you perceive that? How are you able to see two days to go? Five days in the future. Ten years in the future. One hundred years in the future. Two hundred years in the future. Six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred years in the future. Somebody lifts your hand and say, my God is not mute. Say, my God speaks. My God speaks. You must understand that God is prophetic. God speaks. If we remove the ability of God to speak, he becomes an idol. Whoever stands against the prophetic is standing against the true nature of God. Our God is not made of wood. It's not made of stone with eyes that cannot see, ears that cannot hear, with a mouth that does not speak. Our God speaks. There are times where the things that are standing between us and the intimacy with God is the comfort that we have. It takes some time, a little wind to move us away from that so that we may realize that if we are, it's because He is. Hallelujah. It's not because we are strong. It's not because we are good. If we are, it's because he is. Isaiah said, I have seen the Lord. His relationship changed. He saw the Lord. Any preacher who has not had a deeper encounter with God would not go far with God. Any preacher, any child of God, any daughter or son of God who has not had a deeper encounter with God, he may have a theological degree, he may have been in church for long. He may have pictures with uh, the pastor. He may carry a cross everywhere he goes. But unless he has a deeper encounter with God, he won't be able to go far with God. You can have an encounter with God. I pray that you may have an encounter with God today. Jesus. Who am I speaking to? I pray you may have an encounter with God. Moses' ministry changed when he encountered God at the burning bush. Jacob's ministry changed when he slept at Bethel and he saw a vision of angels going up and coming down. As he woke up in the morning, he said, Surely the Lord is here. You have to have an encounter with God. The encounter you have with God will determine how far you will go. Isaiah had an encounter that changed his ministry. Many years ago, though already a child of God, though already serving God, I had an encounter with Jesus Christ. From that day on, my ministry completely changed. He spoke to me things those years that I keep on seeing manifesting today and today some of you will have a test of who your God is you will see and know that you serve a good God who am I speaking to Amen. you will have an encounter with God you will experience God you will have an experience with God and that this is the Isaiah that is here speaking is speaking on behalf of God one thing you gotta know with the prophet the prophet is a human that is divine a prophet may stand as a human and the next minute is no longer a human because he's a man taken over is a man taken over I'm speaking to somebody a prophet is a man taken over uh, I have been invaded Paul said that if I live, it's no longer I who live, his cross who lives through me. That's why of the prophet, the Bible say, touch not. Because you see, a prophet is a man.
taken over his mind, his thoughts, his desire. Everything about the prophet is prophetic. There is nothing in the prophet that is not prophetic. Even his posture is prophetic. Even his look is prophetic. Even his jokes is prophetic. Uh, if a prophet casually blesses you, you are blessed for life. Amen. If the prophet casually touches you, you are touched for life. Whoever I speaking to, you see, the things of the spirit are not taught, they are caught. I may give you wisdom, I present it to you. Only two or three will be able to tap into it. May you have puppy feet that will allow you to tap into what God has ordained for you. In Jesus' name.